You know, I was reading something I wanted to ask about on this podcast um, because I want to make sure that this is not just like it's one person who wrote this. Someone uh, wrote about, you know, they had that um, uh, that hobbit person on the island of Flores, that three foot tall, tiny person that lived on that island of Flores that they found that lived uh, within human time period. I think like they found bones that were, they, I think they lived there, what was it, like 16, 17,000 years ago? Something along those lines. They think they might have had the same sort of thing in Hawaii. And they were talking about this legend of this tiny little hairy man that lived on Hawaii. Well, if they lived in the island of Flores, and if at one point in time the sea level was way, way, way lower, like during the Ice Age, and people traveled back. Like when we think of people traveling across the ocean, we think of the ocean that we have. But the ocean right. during the Ice Age was like 400 meters lower. Like crazy distance, right? Something like that. And in some spots, there's giant continents that don't even exist exist anymore. They're just covered over by large swaths of ocean. That is something that Graham Hancock goes over in this thing. Well, if that was the case, and people, had, little tiny people, figured out how to get over to an island at one point in time, there's a thing called island dwarfism. So that like things that live on islands, they get really small, like little tiny elephants and shit, and tiny humans, and that's what they think. Like in order to preserve resources. These people just got really small. Interesting. It's sort of like when you have a plant in a smaller pot. Yes. It only grows a certain... Like bonsai trees, yeah. I guess, because you keep trimming them. But yeah. I think that might be a different thing. Well, like I've had some plants where I've had them in tiny pots and then they didn't grow. They only grew to like this much and then I put them in bigger pots and they just fucking... You know what's fucked though? Got bigger. With lizards, the opposite happens. You leave lizards on an island, they get bigger. Wow. That's like the Komodo dragon. Yeah. That fucking thing's huge. Yeah. That's like the biggest monitor lizard. And rats, rats never stop growing, apparently. <gasps> like, they never stop growing. What? Yeah, they're insane. They just keep growing. What's the biggest rat ever? They, there's a big one. There's a fucking big one. What's I was looking at rat? something recently, and it's a massive rat. Also, they, got, they, can, they can chew through brick. Those things are fucking... They're going to survive if we get hit by an asteroid. Well, are their teeth like a beaver teeth where they keep growing? Yeah, they keep growing, and they can chew That's through wild. brick. That's wild. Through brick, they can chew. I believe it. Um, They're the Hawaii, nasty, let's too. Let's go to Hawaii thing first right. before we get to the right. biggest rat. So I, did I did they that. have a legend of a tiny person? There's a myth ah. of something called Me Menehune, Hawaii. Uh -huh. Here we go. Um, historical accounts of the little people of Hawaii. I guarantee there was probably something similar. I don't guarantee. I'm just <laughs> taking a guess. But, I mean, if they have the thing in the island of Flores. Have you heard about the Hobbit people? No, I've never heard about it. Okay, so this mythical clan of Hawaiian people are known uh, as supernatural stone workers with a long-standing connection to the west side of the island of Kauai, Hawaii. Historically, Hawaiians believe that Mena... I don't want to fuck this up. Menahune, Hawaiian people, to be small humans. In fact, there was a clan of people on Kauai and another on... How do you say that? Kuaia, Kua, Ka Kau, 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 area of the Big Island in the early 1800s that Hawaiians identified with an earlier migration. This highly respected R.S. Kukendall Professor Emeritus of History at the University of Hawaii also concluded that the Menahune were humans. Oh, wow. Interesting. But then uh, another guy, ethnologist Bruce Cartwright, slums up, sums up the problem with the lack of any evidence of material culture in the Hawaiian Islands indicating a race of pre-Hawaiians and the lack of ancient traditions relating to such a race other than references to the Menahune people has been a puzzle. However, in 1851, the British uh, Bishop, rather, Bishop Museum Bolton, the Menahune of Polynesia, described as the only survey about Menahune theories, concluded that the Hawaiian people were not real, what? real humans. So what were they? I don't know. The, this bulletin claimed the Hawaiian culture was altered under the influence of European contact, and thus stone structures whose history had been forgotten were credited to the mythical Menahune. Oh, that's possible, too. Um, but for sure, they existed in the island of Flores because they have bones. And so what they found out is there's a, a mythical creature called the Orang Pendek that lives in, is it like Polynesia or something like that? We've talked about this before. But they still have sightings where people claim to see these tiny little uh, human-like creatures with their covered in hair. They always thought it was bullshit. But then they found them on the island of Flores. They found bones and they found tools. So they think these were 
in some way some sort of intelligent human type creature that lived alongside human beings and lived in this one time period. Wow. In, so they for sure know that. I don't know how to respond to that. What happened? Is that, <laughs> your fucking watch? Siri. The fucking Siri. Yeah. That bitch is li always listening. Yeah. Will you um, go to the um, Island of Flores timeline? Um, uh, f Homo floriensis. Floriensis? That's how you say it. Flor. So essentially floriensis. there was... Floriensis. Floriensis. Homo floriensis. Wow. So there was multiple types of hominids living yeah. like, concurrently. Yeah, exactly. So when do they think the um what's the timeline of when they think they existed so it says now dated from 60,000 to 100,000 years ago oh the most recent evidence of their existence back to 50,000 years ago okay so originally they thought it was 12,000 okay here it is initially thought to be only 12,000 years ago however more extensive stratigraphic stratigraphic and chronological work has been pushed uh, or has pushed the dating of the most recent evidence of its existence back to 50,000 years ago. The Homo floresiensis skeletal material is now dated from 60,000 years to 100,000 years ago. Stone tools were covered alongside the skeletal remains were from archaeological horizons ranging from 50,000 years ago to 190,000 years ago. So. 50,000 years ago, for sure, there's like anatomically similar humans, and those things lived along with us. So it's like, when did they die off? Because in order for them to find them, they have to find their bones. And the thing about like leaving bones behind is things eat bones. So like if, you, if most things that die in the forest, like you ain't gonna find shit. Like try finding a dead mountain lion or a dead bear. You'll find them for a little while, and then eventually they'll eat, they'll eat each other. They eat the bones, and rats eat the bones, and, and then you get like little pieces of bone all over the place. Right. And eventually those will probably be eaten by insects and other creatures. Like Over the course of like 100 years or 1,000 years or 5,000 years, things almost have to be fossilized, or they have to be covered in some mud or some shit where they can dig to them and nothing eats them. Nothing. So like how many of them existed that you have shit that you're finding from 50,000 years ago? Because right. they found quite a few. Right. Like, in, uh, when did they die off? Right. Was it 10,000 years ago? Was it 20? You know, did, were they around 100 years ago? Like, what? what is that? Right, it's hard to know, right? Yeah. Because they don't have a lot of evidence left.